<laughs> so is there anything that you want to tell the folks about money? Um, that there's nickels and dimes and pennies and the new one that school at school we're about to talk about. It cost 25 cents. Oh, a quarter. Yep, quarter. And it's so little that you almost cannot see it. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia and today I got some of my favorite YouTubers together to talk about tipping. You know, tipping is a very personal thing and some people like to do it, some people don't like to do it, some people are very cheap and some people are very lavish with their tipping. So everybody is different and everybody comes from an interesting place. So I would like to share some of my tipping experiences with you. I have lived in um, three countries outside of the United States and I have been to probably 15 others. So I do know that tipping is 100% dependent on local custom and culture. So let's talk about some of the places I've lived and some of the tipping experiences I had with that. I recently lived in Mexico City. I lived outside Mexico City. And tipping in Mexico is similar to tipping in the United States in that it's variable. You can tip anywhere from 10 to 20% of the bill. But in Mexico, sometimes it's included in the bill and sometimes it's not. So you need to check really closely for the line that says propina incluida, which means tip included. And then they will set a standard tip amount when they do that. Otherwise, you just need to tip like you do in the United States. Me personally, I must always tip unless the service is horrific, I tip 20%. And even if the service is horrific, I still tip. I am not one of those people that does insult tips of like a nickel or something like that. I will tip a minimum of 10% almost all the time. In Colombia, tipping is completely different. In Colombia, from my experience, the, the tip was almost always included in the bill. Um, in the higher end restaurants, people fr frequently would tip on top of the tip because the tip was not much. It was at at its highest, maybe 10% for the included tip. So I personally would frequently add another 10% on that. And I always said I would tip what I tipped in the United States because that is how I work. But when I would travel around with like local Colombians or you know, Colombians who were coworkers of mine, they told me that, that tipping on top could be seen as offensive. But I always kind of assumed that I didn't look like a Colombian, so they would not be offended by me giving them some extra money. Yeah, that's that that's what I did. But most people, and Mauricio included, most people will tell you that you just stick to the tip that's on the bill and maybe you round your change up so it's an even amount of money. But what's interesting is that even in like your standard fried chicken restaurant, like fast food restaurant, there are still wait staff there that bring your food to your table. So there is a tip all the time. And then finally in Nicaragua, Nicaragua tipping was not customary. It just, it's not something they did there very often. In the nicer restaurants, you'd always have propina incluida, and that was usually about 10%. And again, I would frequently tip more than that, but, um, or leave money, but because that's what I felt was right. My dad, historically has been a very big tipper and he has raised us to be both my brother and I are very big tippers as well. Um, it just, it feels like it's the right thing to do for us, whether or not it actually is. One of the things that I did when I was in Nicaragua is as I was leaving, I there, because Managua is a small city, relatively speaking, I would go to the same places over and over and over when I would go out to eat. I was single then. I ate out a lot. And so I would always go to the same places. And so as I was leaving, I left a $50 tip for each one of my favorite waiters and waitresses um, as a, a thank you 
for everything that they had done. You know, just being kind to me when I was out by myself eating dinner because I didn't want to cook at home or every single one of them just really appreciated it because $50 to them. Well, $50 to anybody. A $50 tip's a lot. So don't forget to check out all the other channels down below. And if you are new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe. And I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video is my latest one. And this one is one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya!